Hello everyone, and in this video I am going to teach you how to install mods for Polybridge 2 on Windows. So the first thing you want to do is you'll go to the first link in the description, and it will be labeled as BepinX, and it will take you to this page where you'll want to download something called BepinX, which is the mod loader for the mods. And you want to do the one that says X64, and whichever the latest version is, it will say latest release next to it. So you want to click on X64 and dot zip. And you click that and then you'll put it into your downloads. And then the next step is you go into your file explorer and you go into your downloads and you right click it and you press copy. And then you'll want to go into Steam and then go to Polybridge 2 and click on settings and then manage and then browse local files. And then this will take you to the files for the game. And you have BepinX on your clipboard, so then you'll just paste it into here. And then you'll want to right click it and then press extract all and then extract it into here. And then you take all the files that come out and you use shift click to select them all and then you drag them into here. And then what you do next is you run the game, just play it. And then when it starts up, you just want to exit it out right away. So when it starts out, once I get to the main screen, I'll just exit it out right away. And now yeah, I'll just exit it. Because that just creates the proper files. The first time you run it, it makes the files that it needs for loading the mods. And the next step is you'll go to the second link, and it will be labeled as Polytech Framework. And you'll want to download the one that says polytechframework.zip. Um, because that has more than just the mod, it has some other necessary files. If you ever need to update Polytech Framework, then you can download the DLL. So you download the zip, and you just put it into your downloads, and then you'll open up your downloads again, and you'll right-click the Polytech Framework, copy it as well, and then you go back into the game files that you have open, and you paste Polytech Framework into here, and then you right-click it and do Extract All again. And then you take this folder and inside of it there'll be one called BepinX. You will specifically want to drag the one called BepinX so that it will merge with this one called BepinX. So you drag the BepinX into here and then it merges and then if you it will have all the correct files in there. And then if you run the game you'll have Polytech Framework installed which is the framework that all the mods run off of. It includes some basic things like being able to change the simulation speed to more than 300% and also auto draw and, and and using like infinite budget in any level and things like that but if you want to get any of the other specific mods then you'll want to go to this mod list which will be the third link in the description and this has a list of all the different mods that people made so i'll just say i want to install the longer materials mod so this one is the longer materials mod i'll click on the link and i'll go to it and they, you want to go to the latest release, and there'll be multiple files, but you want to download the one that's .dll. And then when you do that, you'll put it into your downloads. And then when you go to your downloads, you'll copy it again. But then when you go to the game files again, um, you'll have you'll be in the game files, and you'll click BEP and X. Then you'll click plugins, and then you'll paste it into there. And then, when you run the game, you'll have the mod installed. So now, if you want to access the mod settings, then you press F1 on your keyboard, and that will make the settings pop up. And this, you can adjust like the basic settings for Polytech Framework. Um, and then each individual mod will have its own section. So this is the settings for infinite materials. Right now you can see that infinite material lengths is enabled and it's set to have infinite material lengths. So if I go into a level, then if I want to, I could just like build a road and make it be infinitely long. So that's like the mod being used. So thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed or find this useful. Thank you.